a sunrise service in Larchmont, New York, streamed online to the front lines at Memorial Hospital in Broward County, Florida. Easter, the most holy day on the Christian calendar, celebrated today around the world in most cases to empty pews. The congregations instead connected like never before. The Pope, who is usually before crowds of tens of thousands in St. Peter's Square, instead delivered his message over the Internet to the world's 1.2 billion Catholics. Yes, churches around the world were forced to hold their Easter services online. And I know it seems weird, but I actually think this is very religious. Because you know who else never shows up in person? The big guy. He's always telecommuting. Except instead of Skype, he just uses a burning bush or, or a rainbow or a giant flood. I mean, he could have just texted, but I guess emojis don't pack the same punch. And look, I know this Sunday was sad for many churchgoers, but for the Catholic Church, this is a good thing. You know, keeping the priests separate from their congregation might not be the worst idea. Now, for many people, online church just doesn't have the same feel. So they found responsible ways to still gather in the Lord's name. A unique approach for many other churches, drive-in services. Drivers honking in praise in Bedford Hills, New York. I like that. Sitting safely inside their cars, listening to a sermon. And in Ohio, another parking lot Easter celebration. It's just a blessing that we can all get together and continue to worship, even though we are in our cars. You see, now that, that's great thinking. People still doing what they need to do whilst being responsible. And if driving church has become a regular thing, best believe your grandmother is gonna buy herself a pimped out ride to use as her Sunday best. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And why stop at driving churches? You know what they should do? They should move this into everything. They should also make churches with a drive through. Although it'll really suck when the priest gets your order wrong. Hey, I just ordered forgiveness, but all I got was guilt. Can, can you help me out with that? I have to say, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I ordered forgiveness, but I got guilt. Yeah, this is your order. That's not my order. Yeah, that's, that's your order. Okay, thank you. And this kind of thing is happening all over the world. In fact, while America was celebrating Easter with the drive-in church, other countries we're doing flybys. Well, this was an Easter unlike any we've seen around the world. Many religious leaders got creative to celebrate the holiest of days on the Christian calendar. One priest in Brazil went above and beyond. Father Omar Raposo climbed into a helicopter to share a blessing on everyone below. <laughs> wow, yeah, in Brazil, a priest flew over the city in a helicopter and blessed everybody from the sky. That is super cool. I will say though, I feel bad for all the people on the ground who aren't religious. Ah, damn it! Ah, man, I was just going for a jog. Now I'm blessed in the love of Jesus. This is not how I planned my day. And I know right now, some of you haters out there are like, oh, why didn't he just pray from the ground? The prayers will still work. No, I'll tell you why he did that. Because that preacher knows that prayers work better when you're closer to heaven. It's the same way if you want your internet to work better, then you've got to sit closer to your neighbor's Wi-Fi router. Now, unfortunately, some churches in America didn't want to do the whole telechurch or car church or any kind of social distancing. They just wanted regular church and they didn't care whether it was legal or not. Easter Sunday and some defied stay-at-home orders determined to hold in-person services no matter the mandate. In Jackson, Mississippi, Pastor Jesse Horton allowed church members to worship inside. In central Louisiana and Orlando, some churches defied health officials' warnings with in-person services. Congratulations. The demons have left your body but only because coronavirus has moved in. I might be the spawn of Satan, but I take social distancing very seriously. 